Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And in this one, I'm talking about what new features I want to see added in 2017 to Clash of Clans. Some of these are going to be, you know, directly related to Clan Wars. Some of them more just general stuff for the game. So I do have a combination of stuff in here. Uh, by the way, I uh, just wanted to say real quick, I know I haven't been uploading quite as much the last few days. Just been a little bit busy and also haven't had much content to show. Not the best wars in Genesis and stuff. But uh, this weekend, we have our first kind of... Uh, I guess CWL Light is what it's being called. It's like a, a, mini, a mini season almost. We're going against Dark Looters uh, X, I think is the clan, one of the Dark Looters family clans. Uh, so DLX, I think is what they go by usually. And we're going against them this weekend. Plus, I think Immoral Thieves has a CWL matchup. So should have some great content coming out uh, for you guys this weekend and even uh, before the weekend. So be looking for that. Uh, but for now, while we don't have a whole lot to show, I am going to kind of do more of a uh, an abstract video kind of like this one talking about just what I want to see added to the game. Be sure to let me know what you want to see uh, in the comments. I'll be sure to check that out. And uh, for now, let's talk about my thoughts and my ideas. So first, I want to see single player maps. Um, I know that's a part of the game that's not really, you know, developed much. It hasn't been changed in two, three years. It's been so long. But I think it's something that's simple and it wouldn't make a huge difference, but people would enjoy it um, from the serious war clans to people just playing the game more casually. I think everyone would find it uh, kind of a fun thing to do. My recommendation would be to add like 20 maps right off 20 levels or whatever you call it right off the bat. Just get those out there, make it actual Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 level uh, type bases because right now a Town Hall 8 basically can beat all of the single player maps. So make some harder levels, then have the level of the week. Um, maybe for each Town Hall level, from like Town Hall 5 upwards, there's a level of the week that the developer designs, or maybe, I don't know, a YouTuber designs. <laughs> I'd be willing to. Uh, something like that. Just have the the initial edition and then some weekly or monthly or whatever uh, things people can do and maybe make some loot involved to add extra incentive, make it even uh, sweeter for the attackers. You get a lot of loot if you three-star the base or whatever. So that'd be cool. I think, uh, you know, it'd be... A basic thing but I think a lot of different people would appreciate it um, my next idea is some kind of way to add more uncertainty to first hits in war or to attacks in general like for trophy push and farming even that kind of stuff mainly for war uh, some kind of like hidden trap type thing uh, that's more than Tesla's and stuff like that. So I had a, uh, proposed a while back invisible walls. I think that would add some more uncertainty. You only get maybe eight of them, uh, and you might get a few more as you upgrade your town hall, but not a whole lot to change the balance of the town hall level, just enough to uh, make some more uncertainty, because I think first attacks, they should be harder than, insignificantly harder than second and cleanup attacks. I think having that would add an extra element of war. Like, you know, you got to be more strategic now because the first attacks have a much, or, a, you know, a substantially lower probability of being successful than a cleanup attack. I think that would add an extra dimension to war. As it is right now, you can kind of predict where the Teslas and giant bombs are going to be, the general locations of them. And they do stump people and they can uh, screw up a first attack. But I think having that be the case more often would add value to fresh three stars, make them more of a, uh, a an awesome thing when they happen, and just kind of make war a little bit uh, more interesting, more complex. I think that would definitely help. One thing, if you don't want to add more walls, they can take away a few walls and make those invisible. So maybe if Town Hall 10 has, I don't know, 250 walls, I'm just making that number up. I don't know the actual number. But if Town Hall 10 has 250 walls, uh, now it goes down to 240, and 10 of those are invisible walls. So that's just my idea. I think it would be a cool thing to uh, to add. Maybe it would unbalance things too much. I don't know exactly what would happen. It might mess up with the troop AI and stuff. Just an idea, kind of a raw idea. But I think some kind of trap, even if it's not invisible walls, that makes those first attacks a little bit harder would be nice to see. And um, moving along here, my next idea is and this one doesn't apply to clan wars or anything too technical. It's just customizing heroes like the uh, the cloak of the queen, the bow she carries, the fist of the king. 
being able to change the color, the, the design. It's a small thing, and a lot of people think it's stupid probably, but I think you know, we spend, or some people, I don't, um, but people spend so much time farming up their heroes and different parts of their, their account. I think it would be nice to have some control, make it different than other people's. So whether it's the heroes, whether it's troops or spells, just have your own signature. And I think people enjoy that. And it kind of makes their their attack, um, their troops, their whatever, it makes it unique and different from other people, which I think is uh, a crucial part of any game and I think it could be added more so to Clash of Clans. So yeah, I'd like to see probably customizable heroes, but troops would be okay too, I guess, or spells, something like that in your attacking arsenal. Uh, moving along, we have uh, at Town Hall 11, I'd like to see a new troop. Only for Town Hall 11 though, so a 40 troop space troop, meaning it can't be put in the clan castle, it can't be donated, it can only be trained and used by Town Hall 11s, it shouldn't be that overpowering, it should be more of a support troop, so you only want to bring one of them, make it you know favorable to only bring one, but some kind of 40 troop space support troop, almost like the Grand Warden, but have some kind of different function, and if there's some way they can make it so that you only want to bring one of them because we don't want to see more spam attacks with a bunch of this same troop but i think that'd be cool to add an extra troop to town hall 11 make it a little more, more appealing to upgrade to there because right now we're still not seeing a whole lot of town hall 11 three stars so maybe it could uh could add some more possibility for that Town Hall 11 and at the same time not negatively impact Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 9 because it would be 40 troop space just contained to Town Hall 11. Or, I mean, a Town Hall 11 could dip, but that's beside the point. We're just talking straight uh, straight across three stars right now. A um, few f final things. I want to see the clone spell change to make it relevant. I know it's uh, uh, you got to walk a... A thin line you don't want to make it overpowering and I get that Supercell kind of added it cautiously but it's obviously not being used at all um, and I think I think it, it could be a cool spell it has an interesting function I like to see it buffed a little bit I think Supercell will eventually do that anyway and finally just promote some events you know make make the war community uh, you know front stage front and center and I'm, I'm not trying to put down other parts of the game but I think just when like there's a cool event going on um, in Clash of Clans Supercell has done a better job doing this in the past but just make sure the community knows about it support the events uh, Clash Con add some more war stuff and uh, really encourage the strategic parts of the game as well as just the whole game in general. Um, just continue to feed the community because uh, that's where the energy comes from. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you liked it and let me know as I said what you want to see in the comments below and I'll be sure to check that out. See you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.